when I woke from this dream, I jumped up like, like a rock. I mean, I jumped up, I slammed my feet on the floor, and I mean, I just started to roar. I, how many of you know what it's like when you get a dream from God exposing the secret mess that the enemy was doing behind closed doors to, to attack you uh, that you didn't even realize you weren't even aware of until God gave you the dream. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, see, you know what I'm talking about, Satan. And that dream hits your spirit because your spirit man is so wide awake that you jump out of bed, slam your feet on the floor and break out a holy roar from heaven. Christ in me, the hope of glory. I had this dream yesterday afternoon. My feet slammed on the floor. I ran out to my kitchen and I'm telling you, I began to roar. And I said, devil, I said, my God, you screwed up. And I said, you are in serious trouble now because now, now every single witch and warlock that you use to send all this demonic attack to attack my body, to attack me. No, I'm not just going to be healed. My body's not just going to be restored. I'm going to have multiplication from heaven, and you're going to wish you never mess with my body. You're going to wish you never touched my body. You're going to wish you never cast your spells, because every time the Lord says this, he says, every time you cast a, pel a spell, you witch, you warlock, I'll just open a deeper well in my son and daughter. Every time you come and you cast your spell, I'm going to dismantle it and then I'm going to open up a deeper well. I'm going to open up a deeper well of wisdom. I'm going to open up a deeper well of revelation. I'm going to open up a deeper well from the heavenly places for my sons and daughters, not only to be, to be healed, not only to be restored, but for that to be a great outflow to multiple people. Glory to God. Let me tell you, here's the dream. Here's the dream. Because I'm already getting stirred and I, I can't roar right now because the girls are sleeping, taking their nap. But let me tell you, this is what happened. I had this dream that I was at somebody's house and this person is someone that I know of who's very heavily involved in fitness, very fit, very committed, very diligent. And so this person was in my dream and her daughter and I was leaving saying, hey, um, have a great day and all that. And I walked out the door and as I walked out the door to um, say goodbye to her daughter, the little girl, well, now she's probably seven or eight. She walks up to me and she says, there is someone who has literally spent the, their, their, that they spend their entire time summoning demons to you. There is, and, and this little girl out of the mouth of babes, this little seven, eight year old girl looks at me and says, there is someone and they, sp they spend all day, their focus and their, their assignment is to summon demons straight to your house to cause you to be so weak in your body, so tired and exhausted in your body. And I'm telling you when th 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 all of a sudden in the dream, I mean, I got, I had a righteous anger. I walked out the door in my dream. I went, where's my keys? I grabbed my keys, my car keys in the dream. I grabbed my keys. I, I start to begin to move. And I remember I was actually going down some stairs and all of a sudden, this is what I said. I said, I release the holy fire from heaven. I release the holy fire. I release the blood of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, to dismantle all of your evil spells and incantations. And I'm telling you right now, when I start, I mean, I mean, in that dream, I said the holy fire. I release the holy fire of the Holy Ghost. And, and I mean, I wake up from that dream and I was like, my God, and I know 
that this isn't just for me, but I'm telling you that one of the things, one of, this is so important, that God is revealing these evil, demonic strategies that have been attacking you, trying to just suck the energy right out of you, the strength right out of you because of things that you are supposed to be doing right now. I'm talking about, you know, and yes, for a lot of you, it is fitness. I'm telling you right now, for a lot of you, it is fitness. For those of you that you see the vision, you 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 get the vision. Now, I'm going to say this about fitness. I'm going to say it about health, but then I'm going to go into another direction. The whole target of these witches or warlocks that are used because that's what the demonic entities do. They use those who serve Satan. And I'm going to tell you right now, they worship Satan. They serve Satan. Their assignment, they, they are literally, they are literally positioned to just cast spells, cast spells, do what, whatever, because they recognize the kingdom mandate on you and they want to do everything they can to stop you and delay you from putting your hand to the plow. This is exactly what is happening in this season. And so my target right now is releasing this holy roar. And I said, Lord, I said, I command, I command from the storehouse of hell. I command everything, the, everything they stole, all my energy, my strength, my stand. I command it to be fully returned to me. I command the fullness of this stamina, this strength, and this energy. Some of you think it's just something like, you know, oh, this is just my body, you know, uh, you know, this is, it's just, but I'm telling you, this is real. I don't talk about this often, but it's very real when, and especially in the month of October, let me tell you something, but it's very real when Satan uses witches and Satan uses warlocks to do to do their spells, right? And they go into their altar and they begin to start speaking and casting spells. And what do they do? They, their whole purpose is to deplete you, is to rob you of energy and strength so that your focus on, you know, the vision of God, the simple things that you need to be doing consistently. Let me tell you something. This is their tactic. They want to take away the, the area that you need to be consistent Consistently doing something to actually see the fruit and the harvest. I'm, now, there are certain things God does. That's God's business. There's things that God only only can fulfill by the Holy Spirit. He's the only one. But I'm talking about the things that you can do, the things that you're supposed to be doing, the things that I can do that I'm supposed to be doing. Their assignment right now is to stop you, is to make you feel so physically tired and exhausted that even though it's in your heart, like Paul says, man, my, 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 my flesh is weak, but my spirit is willing. Like you're talking about it. You're talking to people, man, man. Oh, God's given, God's been showing me this. I'm, I'm getting ready to do this. I'm getting ready to do this. And you're talking about it and you're seeing it. But all of a sudden it's like, you're just, you're tired. You're exhausted. And then you end up saying, well, okay, I'm going to do it again. I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and then you're, you're going through your day. Oh well, uh, man, I'm so tired. I just can't, I just can't do this right now. I'm telling you, that's the tactic. That's the tactic of the enemy. And I'm telling you, I see this thing that Satan has been absolutely after the area of consistency, where we need to be consistent and diligent and disciplined in something specific. And it's something so simple that we can do at every day on a daily basis, things that God says, okay, I want you to do 15 minutes of that or 20 minutes of that. And I'm telling you, these witches and these warlocks, that dream was serious. That dream out of the mouth of the babe that said there is someone who is literally 24 hours in their apartment, in their house, and they're literally summoning demons to keep attacking your body. I mean, God sent me this dream to rise up and release a holy roar to dismantle and disarm every one of them doggone spells and incantations. And so I'm standing up and I'm telling you right now, I am, I am decreeing that all those 
assignments that have been hidden from you, attacking you and your physical body, making you feel tired, and then putting things aside that you know that you need to be actively doing and productive in. I'm telling you right now, I release the holy roar from heaven. I decree the power of the blood of Jesus Christ that is literally just snapping the neck of the enemy, okay? That's what the lion does. The lion, the way the lion attacks, it crouches low and it waits. And all of a sudden, then it pounces and it literally, with its jaws, it snaps the neck of its prey. And I decree in the name of Jesus that the lion of the tribe of Judah, the power of his blood, is snapping the neck of that demonic entity that has been messing with you, that has been depleted leading you, draining you, robbing you of strength and stamina that you need right now. That you need right now. Pulling you away from something that 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 is so simple that God wants you to do, but do it consistently. And I'm looking, I'm preaching to myself. I'm speaking, but I didn't recognize. And I'm telling you right now, I got so righteously angry. I said, devil, you're going to wish you never sent those witches and warlocks to summon demons to constantly weigh my body down and keep me from faithfully doing the things that I've been speaking and prophesying out of my mouth. Now I'm ticked off. Now, now I'm, I'm decreeing not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the living God, everything you stole from me in the past three to five years concerning my fitness, my body, everything in my body, you, I'm going to tell you something. They speak curses. They want to speak against, you know, attacking your physical heart, attacking your lungs, your respiratory system, attacking your, your digestive system. Listen, they go after you. They want to do everything they can to slow you down. And this is what I'm targeting. This is what I'm going to target. I'm telling you, I got eagle eyes. I'm targeting this nasty tactic of the enemy and I'm releasing a roar and you bet your I'm going to say, you bet your bippy, like my grandpa used to say, you bet your bippy, I'm going to be doing some cadences and we're going to be roaring and we're going to be targeting this thing and saying, God, we thank you. There's a harvest with our name on it. We're going to have so much strength and stamina. It's going to terrorize the enemy. It's going to terrorize the enemy. We're not going to be easily uh, you know, um, tired and exhausted. No, no, no. Th this, we're going to have supernatural assistance. We're going to be doing the things that we're supposed to do. What, when, when God tells you to fast, when God tells you to fast, when God tells you don't eat that, don't eat that for, for a week, for a month, whatever. I'm going to be targeting this in the remnant. I'm not even playing around. It's like I got snapped back into alignment when I had that dream it ticked me off. And I said, devil, you messed with the wrong woman. You messed with the wrong warrior. You messed with the wrong one. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Now I'm, I'm fixing, I'm fixing to, I'm fixing to be so reignited and it's not just for me. It is for the remnant of God. You're going to wish you never targeted these, the chosen ones, the chosen ones, the chosen generation that's set apart and marked by the Spirit of God for a movement and a mandate to glorify the Lord. The sacrifices, the suffering that we've had to go through, no, none of that is in vain. And I'm telling you right now, God is about to restore the body in the room. I'm not talking about spiritually. I'm talking about the physical strength and stamina that has been stripped and robbed and taken through witchcraft and spells and cantations. This stuff right now is fixing to be so just pulverized and destroyed by the spirit of the living God because we got work to do. Let me say this again. We got work to to do. We got work to do. It is by the Spirit, but we got work to do. There are those of you, God has called you to write and scribe. Look, 
I know because I'm one of them. God has put so much in you and you got to release it. You got to release it. There are books that need to be released. I don't care if they're digital. I don't care if they're ebooks. I don't care. I'm telling you right now, there's so many things that God has put in us and it's time. But the only reason you haven't been able to be diligent with those specific things, I'm telling you, this is not about excuses. I'm telling you, this is a tax. This is nothing but these witches and warlocks that make their altars and cast their spells. And they target the one that is supposed to be productive, building and establishing and pioneering what the Spirit of God impregnated them with. Um, oh, Jesus. So I'm not going to stay on here very long, but I'm going to tell you, I praise God. I praise God for letting me see and recognize that hidden demonic strategy that I didn't recognize. My, And I'm telling you, I woke up, I woke up stronger. Last night, I got up from that dream and I said, I command, I come, I said, everything you, t everything you targeted my body, it's not only dismantled, I command everything to be fully restored to me. I command all this inflammation and swelling to go now. I felt it leave my body because it wasn't about me. It was about a demonic attack on my body. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> So I'm targeting the remnant and we're going to roar. We are going to release the holy roar from the lion of the tribe of Judah that's been attacking the remnant, their physical body, the physical strength and stamina. Because I'm going to tell you right now, most of you, you can, you're strong in the spirit, but completely weak, out of shape in the body. I want to scream right now. That's why. My mandate has been so messed with by demonic entities because of this assignment. And I'm telling you right now, it's over. You're going to see the greatest shift. And that's something God had me prophesy. He said, there's about to be a game changer. And that vision I saw where there were demons and they were literally, they had a game in their hand and they were la 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 laughing. And all of a sudden they didn't they didn't see it coming. And the Lord said, there's a move. You're about to maneuver in a, in a way that they didn't see coming. And it's going to end their game. And it's a game changer. And I'm telling you right now, there's a game changer happening. There's a game changer happening. You're about to shift gears. I'm shifting gears. I don't care. I know the times that I was so flipping exhausted and tired. And I thought, this is not normal. This is not normal. Even if I am right now in my 40s, it doesn't matter. This is not normal for me. But I didn't recognize. I didn't recognize what was going on in the demonic realm. See, everybody blames the devil for everything. And not everything is the devil. And so I'm one of them. I don't blame. I don't, I don't know. I recognize I recognize I take responsibility for my own actions, but this right here, God showed me the net and it was a warlock. It was a male. It was a man who was literally in his home, taking all his time and energy to target me. And I realized then I said, okay, because I remember when I was prophesied over, I remember even when Nate Johnson prophesied and called my name out in 2017, June 27, then said, Kelly Marie, God, you are his pioneer and he's doing something so different and so unique through you. It's, it's, it's going to be amazing. And I had no idea. I had no idea the depth of what God was going to do and the things that God wanted to, to, to birth and build. And I'm telling you, I didn't recognize all those doggone witches and warlocks on assignment to stop me from being faithfully 
consistent in my fitness, not because of me, but because of the remnant, because of his body, because of the body of Christ, not because of just my body. And see, God is shifting this thing. And I hear the Lord right now. There are those of you right now, God is fixing to take you into a place when it comes to fitness, you're going to start to intercede. You're going to start to feel the fire of the Holy Spirit come upon you to begin to really recognize what it means to intercede for the body, the body of Christ, the body and what God is doing. He told me this. He said, there's the secretariats are coming. The secretariats of this new era are coming. It's a stampede with so much great strength and stamina from my spirit. It's going to literally trample the enemy. What's up, Marty? I'm telling you, I feel a holy, fierce, violent roar from heaven. And I it shot me off my, I'm telling you, I jumped out of my bed, slammed my feet on the ground. <sighs> so that's what God's targeting. And he said, you know what? They targeted you. They attacked your body. Now you're going to target my body and you're going to release my roar and the stamina and strength that needs to come back to my remnant is going to come back. I'm telling you, this is a game changer in this season. It is a game changer. You know, the vision that's coming to me right now, you guys remember Narnia? You remember Narnia? You remember... um. What is it? Narnia and the, the, um, what was it called again? Doggone it. The robe, the first Narnia that came out, the first Narnia with those children, right? And they went through the, the closet and the, and the wardrobe and they ended up in the spiritual realm. And all of a sudden, you know, they recognize that they're chosen Oh, they recognize that they're chosen, that they're actually, um, and they're fulfilling prophecy and they don't know nothing about it. And they're, and so at the end, I don't want to go into that because I could do a whole prophetic teaching on it. But at the end of this movie, that's what the Holy Spirit's showing me. The end of this movie, when that witch is standing there and all of a sudden she has terror in her eyes because all of a sudden Aslan the lion, he looks right at her and he's letting her know, I'm about to devour you and you know it. And there was so much terror and she knew she was not only defeated, she was getting devoured by the lion. And I'm telling you that nasty demonic attack that has literally been assigned to strip you of your strength, your energy, and your stamina to do what you've been called and commissioned by the spirit of the living God to do. That nasty demon from hell is getting devoured by the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are in the moment. This is what the Holy Spirit showed me. That moment, that war, that battle was going on, and it was Aslan. He looked right at that witch. And all of a sudden, he roared and he pounced and it was over. And that is what we are about Ooh, to experience. You're going you're gonna to feel it. It's almost like I hear, you're going to hear the violent roar coming out of the spirit of the living God. You're going to hear the violent roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. And you're going to know when the moment happens where the Lord says, it's finished. It's over. It's done. You know how you're going to know? Because your strength is going to come back by the Spirit. Your stamina. You're going to get up with a new zeal. You're going to get up with a new zeal for life. You're going to get up with a passion and an energy and a joy to begin to write that book. You're going to end up with a passion and a zeal and a joy to put your hand to the plow. That's how you know it's done and it's over. So I'm going to just say that. I'm going to say that. 
you're going to know. You're going to know because you're going to get up again. The Holy Spirit's telling me you're going to wake up with a new zeal, a new passion, a new motivation. You're going to have dis. You're going to, you're going to be so excited about the new discipline that the Spirit of God is restoring and you're going to be so productive. And I'm telling you, you're, I hear the Holy Ghost. You're going to produce more in one year than you ever did in your lifetime. Oh my God. You're going to produce more in one year than you ever did in your lifetime. I'm talking about all those things that God put on the inside of you, the heavenly deposits, the visions of blueprint. You're going to be so productive because this nasty, foul assignment of the enemy is over and this is the game changer for you. You're not going to fall to you're not going to fall prey. You're not going to um be sitting down. Listen. Whew. I feel the Holy Spirit so strong. The remnant is not going to be sitting much longer, meaning you're going to be, your body is fixing to be so active. There's going to be so much movement and so much activity in the way that by the spirit, your strength and stamina is restored. I can tell you guys things that it, that is very serious where witches and warlocks, where they, they literally want to drain you. They want to they want to literally drain you and suck the life and the energy right out of you. And they cast these spells to do it. And I'm telling you, this is a serious thing. This is a serious thing. But they only focus on doing it with those that are marked by the blood to carry out a movement, to be a big part of a revival in the land. Real revival. God is absolutely going to vindicate, going to bring the greatest recompense, I'm telling you. But before any of those things really happen, you are going to you are going to have so much energy and strength. You're going to be listen, this is what I'm going to say and then I'm going to end this broadcast. You are going to be so, so focused and so occupied on what you're putting your hand to that's going to prosper. Like the Lord said, everything you put your hand to will, will prosper. It will bear much fruit. My God, you are going to be so focused on the vision of the Lord. You're going to look up like Isaac when he was working in the father's field. And all of a sudden, here came his promise. Here came everything God had whispered in him. Right, right. Here, here, here came his, here came his bride. You're going to be so focused because your strength and stamina is returning to you. You're going to be so focused and so diligent and excited about the vision of God and all the things you're doing, partnered with the Holy Spirit, that you, you won't even. The enemy is being muzzled while you're, you're, you're. You're gaining momentum. You're going to gain so much momentum. You're going to gain so much momentum. And I see it in the spirit. The spirit of God is muzzling the mouth of the enemy. It's like trying to, oh, no, no. The Lord ain't even going to let the enemy open his mouth against you. You're going to have so much momentum with everything being restored to you. Strength-wise, stamina-wise, energy-wise, right? Vitality. <sighs> You're gonna be, you're gonna be like what? You're not even gonna realize. Your time isn't even gonna be of essence. You're not even gonna be focused on that. You're gonna be so focused on the vision of God with so much excitement and so much joy that you're not even gonna, you're not even gonna be paying attention to the clock or paying attention to the calendar. You're gonna be so in tune with the Spirit, so in, in just so so aligned and partnered with the Spirit of God, so partnered with heaven and what you're supposed to be doing in this season. You're gonna be amazed, and the Lord's gonna be like, "Hey, psst, oh, here it is, here it is. Here's here's everything I promised you. It's it's gonna be amazing." 
It's going to be amazing. So I, I just wanted to tell you that. And all this that I'm releasing to you came from a dream from the Lord revealing the hidden demonic strategy that was literally a warlock, okay? This thing, that I saw it. When this little girl in the dream looked at me, and as I was waving goodbye and I walked out the door, she said, this person is literally only focusing on sending demons to your house to, to literally make you so weak in your body. And when God showed me, and, and then I saw it, it was this scrawny looking man in his apartment. And I literally saw it in the dream and how the focus was just, just summoning demons. That was, the, that was the demonic strategy. And when God let me see it, Whoo! It's like he it's like he snapped. Man, I got my backbone back. I got my backbone back. Whoo! I say it, backbone from the throne. Spiritual backbone from the throne. The backbone to be bold and say, "No, no, no. This is my inheritance. This is coming from the storehouse." And and it's mine. And I'm getting it and I'm receiving it. And now I'm going to I'm going to go full full speed ahead with 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 the blood with the blood of the lamb with the blood of the lamb that burns in my body the blood of the lamb my god you 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 could feel the blood of the lamb you could feel the holy fire of god going you're going to wish devil you didn't mess with me like kim clement said Kim Clement said it. This was year, but man, psh, I don't even know it was the beginning of when he was in ministry and what God called him to do as a prophet to the nations. You know what he said? He said, Satan, you should have killed me when I was down, but now I'm getting up. You should have knocked me out and killed me when you had me down, but now I'm getting up and it's too late for you. And I'm telling you, that's coming out of the remnant. Be like, you had your chance, and but your but your time is over, because because what God's about to do out of my life, what God's about to open, what God's about to release out of my mouth, out of my spirit, the the revival that's gonna take place, the 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 lives, the salvation, my God, even there. Listen, I even said to the Lord, I said, God, out of, out of every moment that witches or warlocks were casting spells or attacking me, I'm, 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 my roar and the vengeance that I want from you on the head of my enemy is to bring salvation to these witches, is to bring salvation, is to take hold of that person and that they are fully rescued by Christ. They are fully delivered fully fully healed from all their childhood wounds every open d door of demonic activity I said God I my the vengeance that I want I want my God out of every assignment that every attack that ever came in my life every place my heart was broken every place the enemy wanted to destroy my life I said oh, God I, I I want I want thousands upon thousands and millions to receive the deep the deep the 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 depth of what you put inside of me that brings so much radical revival i want to I, I i'm going to reach them i'm going to reach them. that's the vengeance i want that's the vengeance i want i want to take this nation america by storm i want to take this nation america by storm <sighs> Telling you when you when you when when you when you focus like that and you say that's the vengeance I want that's the vengeance I want I want to be an instrument I want to be an instrument to see the greatest radical revival break out in the lands that you summoned me to my God but anyway I'm done I'm done I release what I needed to strength and stamina is not only being restored to you, but multiplied. There's going to be a great multiplication 
because the Lord says a negative times a negative equals a positive. When the enemy wants to steal from you, when the enemy wants to do those things, I'll take every negative situation and bring forth a positive multiplication that comes from the fruit of my Holy Spirit. So I'm telling you, get ready. Get ready. I'm going to be doing some cadences. I'm going to be releasing a holy roar. But look, when I was in 2017, when I was in 2019, and those of you that have been here this entire time, those of you that have been a part of it, you know what I'm talking about. The devil is in trouble. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. The next word that I'm releasing is going to be this Monday, and it is going to be, when the Lord spoke and said, like I said in Isaiah 66, 9, shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery. I'm lifting up the pause and I'm now going to cause delivery. We're going to go into that word deep. It is going to be powerful. When the father says, now I'm going to cause delivery, there's depth, there's meat, it's steak, baby, okay? It is steak to put a new steak in the ground. I hear the Holy Ghost right now. What he's going to have me release to you by the Holy Spirit, because it's the Holy Spirit teaching through me. It's the Holy Spirit giving revelation and understanding through me. No, God is going to give you some meat, some steak that's going to cause you by his spirit to put a stake in the ground, to take hold of that land and that territory that God said is yours and that God said you're going to be well grounded and you're going to steward that land. You're going to steward that vision. No, the devil's in trouble now, remnant. He's just in trouble. So let's get ready. So Monday at 5 p.m., I'm doing it every Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to go deep into that word about what the Father is saying. I'm on now cause delivery. See, there's cause and effect. Cause and effect. He's lifted the pause. He's lifted the pause, and now he's causing delivery to take place for his glory. The devil is in trouble. Boom. Boom. The bam and the boo. The bam, boo. The bam, boo. What did God say? Ooh, it's the year of the bamboo tree of 5783, baby, on the Hebraic calendar. 5783, the year of the bamboo tree. Why? Because all the time everything was beneath the surface. All it took was one moment for that bamboo to shoot, break out of the ground, break out of the dirt. Some of you are about to break out of your dirt. You're about to break out of the dirt. You're about to rise like you ain't never rose in your life. The bamboo shoot, it just breaks out of the dirt and it shoots up 90 to 100 feet up in the air within five weeks. It is known as the fastest growing plant in the world. Some of you are about to break out of the dirt. You didn't think you could overcome this thing. You didn't think anything was going to change. You thought, well, this is it. This is it. This is it. No, you're about to break out of that dirt in your life, and it is going to shock the hell out of the enemy that thought he could keep you beneath the surface. Boom. I want to, I just want to scream right now. I'm telling you, I just want to look where the screaming eagles, where the screaming eagles, okay? I'm telling you right now, that, that word right there that hit me, I'm prophesying to you. Several of you in the remnant, you're about to break out of the dirt that the enemy thought he could keep you stuck in. You, you're, you're about to experience wild radical growth and increase that you didn't think you would ever experience in your life. And I'm serious. I'm so serious because Isaiah 66, 9, shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery. Please share this word with those who are ready to hear it and receive it, who need it. Praise God. Bless them with the word of the Lord from the Holy Spirit. I love you and I will see you guys. I will probably most likely be doing a cadence 
I will be doing a cadence. I will be leading a cadence uh, probably this weekend. I'll be doing that. But the teaching and the Word of God is going to come Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Love you guys. Glory to God.